So hello guys and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk about the ZK Sync Airdrop and a few more steps that you basically can do to participate in it as well as some other airdrops as well during that process. If that sounds interesting I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot and make sure to join the Discord as well as Telegram where we post updates about airdrops as well as the new videos and more. So make sure to join that as well and obviously we're going to dive right into it and because of the weed genesis of ZK Sync, you guys need to basically get yourself some new Ethereum over. You already know how to do that if you watched the first video. You come over onto the girly faucet, you make yourself an account with Alchemy, you put your ETH address in, you hit send and every 24 hours you will get 0 0.05 and they actually reduced. Uh, the ETH that you get, it was 0 0.1 that you could get 2x, so 0 0.2 per day. Right now it's 0 0.1 per day if you use the Alchemy NFT APY. I myself don't do it, I just use the normal one. And obviously, the next faucet that is there from ZK Sync itself, uh, it works finally. Uh, as you can see, we already have different tokens in our wallet. And how it's done, you come here, you post it on Twitter. And after you have done so, you check your wallet, you will receive only a small portion of Ethereum. That's why I suggest you use the girly faucet to receive the Ethereum from there. Then you use the bridge, um, which already showcased once, uh, from the Ethereum girly testnet onto the ZK Sync testnet. And that currently takes around $17 to do so. Um, we already did it now, I think, four to five times. So the more you do it, the more the chances that you get a bigger portion of the airdrop. Obviously, you can use different wallets as well, uh, but make sure to use a different private key when creating them. Uh, so not the same MetaMask. And then moving on, uh, we have now also 1KX, which is working. You can request some test tokens. Uh, before you actually didn't get anything in your wallet and right now it is working uh, You can also see we put in some USDC in the pool and it is crazy to think about only 50 USDC or so It's around 1.6% of the bar. So the more you participate in it the better for you it is um, I actually suggest doing this uh, with yeah a lot of different assets simply that counts into volume and it could be that 1kx is also deciding to do an airdrop itself and if you use the test protocol um, they also have it on Aptos already and you do trades over here which I also uh, suggest you doing uh, we already swapped some USDC we swapped some Bitcoin and so on uh, so it's fairly simple to do that and after you have done so you can come over here, supply uh, your liquidity after you can also borrow some. So you put, for example, USDC in and then you take out loan in Chainlink. You take 10 USDC, for example, you will eligible to C0.1 uh, link. We are going to do it. Uh, it's fairly simple. You give permission once to your wallet. And after you have gone permission, you then do the swap, which will give you uh, the link token and then everything is set and you could now for example go ahead and put your link in to the platform let's say we want 10 link so we would get around 0.29 percent of the current pool share which you need to obviously again do the two transactions uh, sorry for the annoying metamask sound but yeah i cannot mute that and then boom that is already done that's one of the most important steps i would suggest uh, Bring it over here because you can do a lot. Uh, you also have your portfolio, which you have an overview. Uh, you see your bow position. You also see the pool deposits. Uh, somehow, bow position is not showing. Um, for Spacefy, why I want to mention Spacefy, even though it's not working yet, is simply because you can see if you come over onto their website, uh, testapp.spacefy.io, and they already got an airdrop page, which leads me uh, to think that they are most likely going to put an airdrop in for the early users of the network on the testnet and then we also got one which did not have anything yet announced but is already working and that is mute and mute already did uh, do a few swaps and also supplied some liquidity into the pools uh, which I highly recommend doing because that could potentially give you the mute airdrop token as well if they ever going to decide 
on releasing a token and it's also a good website to farm some transaction because as you can see you can for all the ones that you got over here uh, for I don't know Ethereum whatsoever if you want to uh, supply liquidity you come over here you add liquidity for example we're going to use Chainlink and we are going to pick USDC you go on manage let's say we want to put 10 chain link on we don't have enough USDC so the USDC is not really packed on the testnet so here you can see the link is as well you put that in you approve it and again it's fairly simple do an additional transaction where you need to only sign it <coughs> then another one uh, simply because there is uh, I think four different transactions that you need to do and after that you have your pool over here that you then can manage and you can remove liquidity whatsoever you can also see the current fee that's a few and that's pretty much one of the steps later on they will do amplified lp and you already can see earn mute rewards so most likely you are going to know that they are providing some mute token again that's only speculation but most likely because you can already see it here you are knowing that they are going to do that and then uh, that's pretty much it for the testnet uh, Fizan protocol still is not working sadly um, currently those are the only one I think I don't miss anyone uh, that are working uh, which already give you a lot of options to be eligible on the airdrop you also got something on the main net now which is zigzag um, as you can see zk 1.0 where you can connect do some trades obviously uh, this is based on leverage so you need to be a bit careful i think uh, you can even just exchange the token over here but this used to be a um, uh, yeah, leverage based platform so obviously if you do that be careful do some swaps over on the mainnet uh, as well as what you can do on the mainnet is bridging uh, you can go over onto the zk sync mainnet where you then can start bridging which i don't even got on my metamask no i don't have it uh, but there you can also bridge ethereum from the mainnet onto the zk sync layer one no layer two and then you are basically done over here on the ecosystem from zk sync you already see a few protocols which are live which are already covered and protocols which are not yet live which is really important for you to keep an eye out uh, yourself on this page because i can't do a single video if some new protocol is live i just did it because of the weed genesis and uh, regarding that you can obviously have a look at all the various protocols that are over here it's a lot that will go live and a lot that are already live you can obviously do your research which of them have a token which of them don't doesn't mean every uh, of them will be doing an airdrop but it's always good to participate early in the testnet or even uh, on the mainnet on the zk layer 2 and yeah pretty much that's it again hope you enjoyed watching make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe because that's very important for the channel and the youtube algorithm which is uh, i don't know strange but yeah pretty much that's it bye bye